Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Stone Ridge Homestead. Today I'm going to show you a, a new design I'm working with. It's for the smaller folks that only have, say, 5 to 10 trees that they want to tap and they want to maximize their, their yield and they don't have any gravity. So what I do is I, I can either do singles or doubles or three, depending on the size of the tree. And what I'll do here, I'll show you. I make nice the lead extremely long so I can get it up as high in the tree as I possibly can. So right now we're about seven, eight feet. And that way what that'll do is the sap will fill this line because of the smaller diameter and it'll pull and it'll create its own vacuum. It won't be as high as the, the uh, vacuum systems but it'll be just enough to help you along and just increase your yield just a wee bit. I'll show you how we do it. So already you can see it's starting to work. I'll put in the other one here and then I'll give you a close up. So you can't really tell, but those lines are already full. This one's a little slower. And that way you can just use whatever buckets you have laying around the farm or homestead. You don't have to go out and buy buckets that are just only for this. And as you can see it's working quite well already. The key for this system is the height. The more, the more height you can have it fall, the more vacuum you can build. Another thing I should mention, this is 3 16 line. Traditionally in the past it's been 5 16 the larger diameter stuff. The color doesn't matter, it's just different manufacturers than some other ones. Another thing you'll want to get is the taps themselves are a 5 16 drill bit. And also traditionally they use 7 16 so that makes a larger hole wound in the size of the tree. And by using smaller taps, you can actually tap, in my opinion, smaller trees. Because it's not the drawing of the sap that kills the tree. It's every time you drill a hole into it, that area can't pass sap through it for the next few years. So if one year you drill here and the next there and there, what you just kind of start, you start taking some of the life out of the tree because it's only a short window that we actually take sap from the tree. I would say at most probably six weeks. So then they have the rest of the year to repair and heal and draw up water. So as you can see the system's working quite well. This isn't really this isn't how I operate my sugar system. I'm, I've stepped up a little bit in size and I've went to running pipeline on gravity. But that's only possible because I have so much elevation change in my property. So this way if you don't have elevation change and it's sort of a flat property you're on, you can run these systems and I can make them either just one or I can make them up to four so if you have a real big tree then and the more the more height you can get the better it'll work but I realize people are only so tall so hope you enjoyed that little demonstration on how to install this uh, individual micro vacuum system I'll link a description I'll put a link
link in the description or in the comments of where you can purchase these. And I hope you have a great day.